and hello everyone welcome back to another video all right so today we will be doing some nested loops now we've already talked about nesting things like if statements basically it's just when you let's say if statement for example that a nested if statement will be when an if statement is put inside of another if statement whether it's one if statement inside of that if statement and even another if statement inside of that if statement it's called nesting it's kind of the same thing when it comes to loops you can nest loops so here i have a form which is a button say click me name and age but anyways is name becomes string and then i age that is an integer because i don't really know how to explain it it's really simple it's something we've basically already done now it's just with a loop so basically we have four Ooh, i probably need to make another one there i and probably j for i becomes um, i ooh, for i becomes zero to i age do and let's go here and just go i age becomes acd age dot value all right and then s name becomes yeah, edt name dot text so it becomes it's from zero to the user's age it should do the following um so is it show message yes show message show message is name and then we can add a for loop within this for loop for j becomes you don't need to put j but i prefer j becomes s length of s name i'm literally just typing whatever comes to my head first so it's from the length of his name to let's say 40 because I'm pretty sure the name wouldn't be that long begin now we have a nested loop so let's just go and put some random here for like for example uh, show message this is going to be really annoying but into string I age Whoopsie, I accidentally pressed control S. Alright. So basically what we have here, we have S name, I age, I and J, we assign them, then we have our first for loop, and then inside of that for loop, we're nesting another for loop. Now, this is just like the if statement where there's an if statement within an if statement. And whether you have one for loop within this for loop or two, it's still nesting. And whether you have a for loop within the second for loop, it's still nesting the for loop within the for loops. So it's the same thing. It's just with a for loop. But the books does explain it, so I felt like I should too. We can even run this. My doubt has been a little bit weird lately, but I'm pretty sure it should be able to run this. Alright, we make age four because I'm scared of a lot of running. Brock four four. So this is going to take quite a while. Yeah, so basically this is going to be the whole process of this annoying thing. I can't stop it there. Yes. No. No. Well, what's this for then? What's this thing? No. Wow, Delphi, please. Please, no. Anyway, so this is basically what I wanted to show you. This part right here. This is what I wanted to show you guys. It's just a for loop and a for loop that's nesting a for loop. Nothing special about it. You guys should be able to do this if you are not able to do this then uh, you should definitely practice because this isn't hard at all this is just very basic thank you all for watching see you all in the next video